I press record. Now you're recording. <laughs> you're recording. <laughs> <laughs> Say <Okay>. hello first. <laughs> hello. Hi. <laughs> um, it's Melinda Chen and so it's Cassandra again. And, um, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it's been a very long time. We mm -hmm. promise we're not dead because we're right here. <laughs> um, busy. <laughs> really busy. Um, this is my last semester of college, so I've been prepping for my senior show. I'm an animation major, and we don't really have much of a life, unfortunately. So, mm. um, But in a couple weeks, I'll finally have a life back. Maybe. Maybe. We might have something entertaining up later. We'll see. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. That depends on how my like second to last semester goes as well. So, yeah. So anyway... Our reason for making this video is because uh, we're a part of a charity auction for the tsunami and earthquake relief over in Japan, and uh, it's being run by Little Karibo. He's got a bunch of auctions up. I'm going to link, put a link in the box thing below the video, and it'll like give you more information on what's going on. And uh, he's also got a bunch of cards up for sale. He's got some special. He's like doing an auction over, like, you can be in one of the future episodes of a bridge series. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Slide for the Sky Dragon donating some artwork. Lots of cool stuff. Anyway, oh, yes. check it out. What was he doing? Oh, okay. This might be done at several takes because I'm terrible. Terrible. I'm very terrible. I, I, terrible. My, my, <laughs> my mind goes off. Okay. And then I lose track of thought. I'm not a very good public speaker. I can do what I can sometimes, but sometimes... I, I could do it, but this is her thing. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> if you would like to say something, feel free to. I like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um... Uh, <laughs> feed us all day, just so you know. I got an hour left on this video camera. Bye. Okay. So, uh... The creepo was doing something with the money. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess I could start back with... We're, I need to get straight to the point on these things. Yeah, you kind of do. Um, I can start back up. Okay, so, so my contribution is I am donating... Would you like three? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hey! I'm, no! I'm bad at juggling three. Okay, Hold that. fine. I'll take this one. I back. can't juggle. <laughs> so, okay, so my contribution to the auction is I'm donating three Karibo plushies, and they're all they're all hand handmade by me, and I designed the pattern and all that stuff. You know, you've seen the videos. Mm -hmm. um, these are not something you can get in stores. They're only made by me. I mean, people make them, but you yeah. Know. But this is a, like a Melinda Chan based Karibo, therefore. Yes. And this is made it's by even more epic. Like, made by Melinda Chan. So, you know, it's extra special. It's and so if you, if, I'm probably going to go ahead and put a little tag on, like, sort of through, and uh, each tag will... Ooh. Oh, no! It's yeah. ruined! They're, they're, they're sewn by a uh, cosplay Everyone goddess with, uh, with a little bit, with thanks to her, a little uh, army of cherubs and uh, talking... Pikachu's. <laughs> no, not really. But she works really, really hard on them. That's for certain. But yeah, these are going to be. I mean, everyone's different. They're all unique snowflakes. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to attach a tag to each one, and I'll go ahead and sign them by Melinda Chan. And uh, but what's most important about these is that it's being donated to Japan. Mm -hmm. So. You know, it's a country that gave us Yu-Gi-Oh! in the first place, and a lot of it what inspires us as mm -hmm. cosplayers. So it, this is really important to us to be able to be a part of this and mm -hmm. raise something for them. Give to Japan, and you know, don't forget the other places out there that have been suffering, like Haiti, and New Zealand, and uh, Indonesia because of the earthquakes and stuff like that. It's not just Japan that's suffering right now, but. Say, uh, Everything donate counts. where you can. Yes. Take him home. Take him home. You can name him George and have him sit on your desk, cuddle with him at night. He's also really, really good to help you with test taking. Just study with him and pet. Be sure to feed him because otherwise he'll get really hungry and he might eat the jam between your toes. <laughs> or explode soda cans. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I had a, no, that was Stardust. Stardust exploded the soda can. I don't know. I one time left him in my uh, mom's car, and apparently a Dr. Pepper exploded. Oh, that's that's no bueno. Mm. So you know, <laughs> he wasn't happy with me. But yes, we can go on all day. Yeah, we can. It's been a while. So how have you been? Oh yeah, another thing I guess I could talk about. Um. I will be at Acon this year. We actually didn't yes. go last year, and a lot of people were like, Where's Melinda Chan? It's like, well, I said on my DeviantArt that I wasn't going. So I hope that maybe some of you guys actually pay attention to my journals on DeviantArt, because I go there more mm -hmm. than anywhere else. I also keep up with my Facebook a lot lately. I haven't yeah. been, I actually haven't been on DeviantArt a whole lot this semester just because of animations. So. I has. I has. <laughs> But as far as conventions go, I mean, whatever conventions I go to, I, I always update on my DeviantArt or Facebook. So, um, but I will be going to Acon this year, and we all, I think will. all of us will. Yeah. More or less all of us well, for Lee Heart Card Games. There's going to, I know... We've got me, Kyle, Amanda, and, and Liz. one of our other uh, cosplay friend groups. It's going to be there that I can't remember on the top of my head. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, we got a lot of cosplay friends and yes. down there that we go with mm -hmm. and stuff. So, but uh, we've got um, Ky Kyle and I have been invited to uh, Louisiana Anime next month. It's actually just a few weeks away. It was kind of last minute, but uh, we're going to be flying down there and uh, be hosting some panels and stuff. And also later in the summer, Kyle and I are also going to San Japan in San Antonio, Texas as cosplay guests as well. So if you guys are going, we hope we'll see you there. <laughs> I'll be going to Acon and definitely be going to Anime Iowa. And we actually have some fun plans for Iowa. I'm not saying anything other than that. I'm going to try to go to Iowa, but really mm -hmm. right now it's at the point where I'm graduating this semester and I'm going to be finding a job. With the yeah. job, I might still be in Missouri, or I could be who knows where in the country. So, we're kind of not sure what my convention plans are at this point in time for later this year. I'm going to try to my best to go to like Anime Fest again, things like that, because it's my favorite con, but um, no guarantees, because I don't even know if my job is going to give me vacation and things like that, if I have a, a job like that mm. anytime soon. So, we're going to still keep doing what we love, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm going to quit cosplay, no. Oh not no happening. no! Sorry, you're not you're not out of the woods with us yet. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really sad to no longer be in the dorm room of randomness. I'm gonna miss it lots. And um, but you know, you have the uh, like the house of randomness. Yeah, I guess <laughs> we'll see. Just um, randomly barge into uh, your place. Uh, we're doing a random video now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say, uh, yeah, she's graduating. I'm not going to be graduating until next semester. And I'm signing, and I'm actually looking into joining AmeriCorps. So, yeah, I have no idea where I'm going to be, but I won't be far. I'll probably maybe do some vlog randomness because I've been inspired by Toby Turner a little too much lately. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, I was gonna say, uh, as far as um, Yu-Gi-Oh cosplay plans and stuff like that, we still, I st well, we're I st still doing five Ds. Yeah, we're just because five Ds ended. Does I mean, if anything, I I actually kind of want to keep the fandom going and mm. keep the you know five Ds alive, especially. So I'm st I'm, I'm actually working on a revamped version of Yusei. I've been wearing mm. Yusei for about three years now. This wig has seen three years of conventions, <laughs> and actually, this might be one of the last few times that you see this particular wig, because mm. I'm going to be, I actually already ordered it, I got another wig that I'm going to be styling. I don't think I'll be selling this one, because it's got too many sentimental memories. Sentimental but, value. Yeah, I've just, I don't think that it's going to be something I could let go very easily, so. Um, but I'm going to be making another Yusei jacket, the original one, and, uh... <laughs> Sorry. That's another thing you could do with these. You could style them to look like your favorite character's hair. And Which... I do want to do some of the other outfits that were revealed mm. in the last few episodes, but no guarantees when I'll get those done. I mean, they'd be easy to put together. It's just a matter of getting money for materials right now. Kind of yeah. trying to save my money, so. Yeah, I I'm definitely still going to do Aki. I have no I, I know, like, I eventually want to do Crow. I have no idea when that's going to happen. I it'll happen eventually. I promise it'll happen eventually. 
But yeah, I'm actually looking into maybe doing some more Aki outfits because she's eh, one of my favorite characters, what can I say? Ugh. But yeah, and also the fandom isn't... 5Ds isn't completely dead. We have the manga coming out this summer. Yes. Go get the manga. Well, and the, Go get it. And hopefully, I mean, I think some of you guys might have seen all the stuff about the lawsuit with, oh. four, with four kids. We don't know what's going to happen. It's right now kind of oh. sit and wait. We're hoping that, you know, four kids doesn't lose the license. I know a lot of you guys hate four kids, but, you know, in all honesty, it was thanks to four kids that we got Yu-Gi-Oh over here, and that became so huge. I don't we got think, Dan Green. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> a lot of those voice actors, they're very talented and really nice guys. And yeah, I they're think, really cool. I think that a lot of people really, I mean, they blame the voice actors, or they say, oh, you know, four kids suck because they censor so much. Well, you know, if they aimed it at an older audience, it wouldn't have gotten as much popularity. I'm pretty sure you had four kids, as, um, you know, it was a part of your childhood. You watched Pokemon, the original, and you loved it, and you still love it. Mm -hmm. And I think that... Uh, I, I'm it's just, you know, it's it's sad. It would be really sad to see four kids lose the license to Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and whatever else that they own of the series. Mm -hmm. That would mean we wouldn't be probably getting anything anymore over here as far as that goes. And the fandom might, I mean, yeah, I don't think the fandom will disappear at all. There'll still be people keeping up with the Japanese version, but it's just... Who knows how that'll affect the popularity of the card game and all mm -hmm. this other stuff. So let's, you know, hope for the best and hope that, you know, the our favorite voice actors over at 4Kids can keep their jobs. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Please. <laughs> um, and, I, I mean, I think from what I hear, like, I, I communicate with the USA's voice actor on occasion on Facebook, and he says that he's still recording, so I think they're still planning to proceed business as normal. It's just, uh, we don't know what the... They're probably not allowed to air it yet. They may not... Well, we don't know yet. That's apparently, like, I don't know. There's a bunch of articles online. Just read up all about it. I don't know all the details, but um, it sounds like... Hopefully... I mean, right now, they're just going to... Three of those are shedding on me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go Sorry, ahead. I'm going on and on. I should stop it. Anyway. <laughs> but, anyway... Most important part of this video. Adopt them! They're cute! They're cute. Yeah. I can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> He'd be impaled. These spikes actually like defy gravity, seriously. Ah, but anyway. I'm zoning out again. We're doing it on YouTube. Mm. Therefore it's even funner. <laughs> funner. Funner. That is a word now. I butchered a lot of things in this video, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say funner. It's a word now. Err.